everyone, it's Char from Char's Fascination. And right now, yeah, I'm in the living room. Right now, I want to be very serious with you guys. I know usually I just come on here and I just have a quick something to say. And that's really about it. Now, this is Char's wise word. Okay. I know everybody has something to say about what went on. Yes, it is horrible, but to somebody that's half black and Native American, and I'm going to speak my piece on this because the people that I mostly hung around growing up were black. I dated a few black guys in my lifetime. Some of them were cool, their parents were cool, right? But I'm going to tell you what's not cool. What's not cool is including everybody's life. Now, I'm with Jason Hawes from Ghost Nation on this. It is not cool to some so-called protesters or in front of the store that you see on the police video, right? Well, like the corner door on it. And go out of their way to beat the white owners. Okay, especially the woman. Men beating on a woman until she hits the ground. That shit right there is not cool. They were willing to beat a life to the ground. Now, that's messed up. That is really and seriously messed up shit and I'm just going to say it that way that is some messed up shit now if you still think black lives matter let me tell you who they're sponsored by they're sponsored by the fucking Clintons you're like oh but that's okay because they're white no it's not the fuck okay Hillary Clinton goes to a party in blackface. Hmm. Dang. That's not cool either. She went to a party in blackface to replicate looking like a mammy. Not cool. Not cool at all. I mean, my Bill Clinton, he's all trying to look like the dude with the straw hat. Hang, get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. Okay. All this destroying of commercial property, private property. Oh my gosh. I just watched Omar from Omar oh Gosh post on um, Instagram and he said that he was going to go explore somewhere because he had permission but now he's not going to do it this is inconvenient to reopening America do you understand me it is an inconvenience to reopen America Oh, oh, what is that? What's that you say? Oh, I see. You wanted to go shopping at that mall? Well, you're fucked. You're fucked because now they have to repair it. Oh, what was that? Oh, you want to go eat there? Oh. We can't now, can ya? Hmm. 
and I bet there were all sorts of different nationalities of store owners or those store owners, they enjoyed all of uh, their employees showed up not really caring what nationality was working for them. Oh, but what's that? What's that? Oh, so I, I see. Somebody fucked up your job. Because you, you used to work in that store. Or you used to work in that place to eat. But you see, people came in stuck on motherfucking stupid. And took that away from your ass. What was that? Oh, I see. Um, how's that going to affect you? Your goddamn taxes are going to go up. That's what's going to happen. Your goddamn taxes are going to go up because of this shit. Now, does that matter to you? Does your pocket matter? Oh, wait. I don't think none of you thought about that before opening up your mouth. Because everyone matters. Oh, but they were slaves in America. Let me, let me get you something straight here. First of all, being a half black person. Do your fucking history. Africans sold Africans, and they still do. It's called human trafficking now. Goes on every day. Around the world. Around the world. That's right. Oh, what's that? Oh, you didn't think that happened no more? Um, yeah, shit still happens. Around the world, people sell people around the world. And is that right? Because it doesn't matter what the nationality is of the person. It happens on a daily fucking basis. And now they want to say, oh, well, this has to be peaceful protest. And then it gets out of hand. But you know what? Y'all want to blame shit on the police. You all want to blame shit on the police, and that's some messed up shit. That is some messed up shit. And you know why it's messed up shit? Because in order to have that per permit to protest, you must have it at least a week and or... 30 days in advance you must put in the paperwork for that one week now here's where it really throws off a timeline so all the shit was already set in motion one week to 30 days in advance to get those papers for protest well, what were they protesting before that? They were protesting COVID. They were protesting COVID. And then a shit switched to something else. I'm just going to tell you the damn truth. Every single life on this planet matters. It doesn't matter who you are. You don't like it, you don't like it. That's your problem. That is your problem. If you don't like the truth. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to tell you something I said on Instagram earlier. When I lived in Philly, I was treated like shit by some EMS. They kicked me, one of them kicked me, I will tell you this, one of them kicked me in the ribs. Um, 
I came to face down on some steps. My, I I didn't know my roommate Nita was home at the time. Apparently our landlord had found me face down because it was, you know, rent day. I was had him come get my rent. So he finds me face down on the in between landing and going upstairs and the way that house was set up you couldn't tell if there was somebody on those steps unless you were around the bottom and uh you know the ems came in and kicked me in the ribs told me y'all oh, get up get up kick me in the ribs because he mistake me for being white. So he decided to kick me in the ribs because he thought I was white. And then it got yelled at because, you know, I have epilepsy. So I started shaking worse. Um, and they were screaming at me, ma'am, you got to stop shaking. Stop shaking. And I'm like, I can't stop shaking. I get seizures. I'm a seizure patient. Like, well, you gotta stop shaking in order for us to help you. If you're in the middle of a fucking waking seizure, how the hell are you gonna stop shaking? And then we get to the hospital. I don't have my side piece anymore. But when we get to the hospital... Um... The one guy that had kicked me in the ribs, he started saying some really racist shit about me. And then I had asked the uh, doctor to please, you know, disarm me. You know, and I'm laying there. I can't really do anything. And he does that stupid hands up, don't shoot. And I'm like, you are a stupid racist motherfucker. Get out of here. I'm not white. I'm black and Native American. And his partner is like, oh man, you just fucked up treating her like that. And then doing that hands up, don't shoot. I'm like, that is some racist ass shit. That is some racist ass shit. Like, how would you feel if you were me and you were being kicked while you're down? Kicked while you're down after having a seizure that made your ass pass out. And you're being kicked while you're down because that person thought you were white. Oh, shit. How about that? Now, how would you feel if that was you? Wouldn't feel so damn good, would it? I'm just going to say it how it is. Everybody's life matters. And when the uh, officer to come check my stuff, my permit and everything, he came in and I politely asked him, I'm like, excuse me, officer, what district are we in? So he told me. I'm like, so you know the lieutenant, lieutenant uh, Quasar. And he was like, yeah. And then he's like, why? I'm like, because um, he's my PSA 1. And I go to his meetings all the time. And he's like, oh, you're the lady he talks about that always shows up to the meeting. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. And so uh, he contacted the lieutenant. And the lieutenant's all like, yeah, she's good. Because I don't like to harm people. And that was a black officer. Okay. He was really cool. I liked his attitude. Very, very professional. Very professional. Okay. And then when I lived in Philly and a black officer got killed in the 22nd, I was horrified because he was killed coming out 
he was on his break, uh, coming out of a GameStop because he was buying something for his child. It's disturbing. He was shot and killed. by two guys out on parole not allowed to have a gun not allowed to have a gun they went to the game stop to rob it and the cop just happened to be there he defended he defended the store and it cost him his life <laughs> It cost him his life to protect white people. So when you say black lives matter, right? But you say fuck the police. Oh, oh, what? Huh? The police are there to protect these idiots out there protesting. That's why they're not moving to do anything to hurt nobody. They're there. Protect the protesters. Oh, but what's that? What's that? Oh, you thought that they were there to hurt the protesters. No, when you get a permit, there's officers dispensed to protect those people protesting. Now, the minute you cross the line and start busting stuff up, you're no longer part of helping. You're only hurting. And you've lost some rights to protest. And by law, guess what they get to do? They get to arrest your ass. It's a law. Oh, but was that? Oh, you forgot to research that, right? You forgot to research that? Hmm. Well, I noticed a lot of those officers there were white, black, and Latino. And maybe a few Asians. I couldn't tell. There was black, white, and Latino officers. Oh, how's that feel now? How does that feel now? What if those officers were your family members? But they put their life on the line to protect protesters. They're endangering their lives. All this BS, all of you're putting out there trying to talk shit you're also putting my sons in danger oh oh that's different isn't it okay well one of my sons his dogs were killed because people acting up and all this bullshit decided to uh kill my son's dogs they weren't even quite a year old yet but now they're dead oh what's that oh oh his dogs didn't deserve to die because their life oh I see um pretty much yeah animals are life too but is it fair that you blame people for this shit? No, it is not. Is it fair that the store owners, white store owners, got, especially the woman, beat up with uh, planks of wood and metal pipes? Do you think that's okay? You're wrong. You are wrong. 
you're wrong. But do their lives matter? Maybe the woman wouldn't have been able to get up if they had continued. Nobody stopped to help them. If they had continued to beat on her. Where was the police? Where was the news crews? Somebody was videotaping this. Malicious crap. And it's sickening. It's sickening. And it was also caught on another security camera of her getting beat to the ground. Just for having a store right there and being white. She got beat to the ground. So where the fuck does it make sense? Either you care about everybody's life. Or there's something wrong with you. Oh, and by the way, by the way, Native Americans have less rights than black people. Black people have the same rights as white people. And if you did your history correctly, you would find out the when slaves were freed, black slaves were freed in America, they were offered a free ticket to go back to Africa, but in their convenience, they didn't want it. Blame your own ancestors. Oh, I could blame mine. I could blame mine on that side. But you know what? I'm going to leave that history where it is because like-minded people that have common sense enough to figure this out, you figure out that there's rich black people out there. Very rich black people. Oh my gosh. Oh wait. Oh, Beyonce's rich. So is Jay-Z. Aren't they supposed to be entrepreneurs? Oh, wait. Oh, there's a uh, eyewear line at where I go to. And that eyewear line, you know, for the frames is owned by a black person. Oh, so that person banks every time their uh, clothing is sold, their eyewear is sold. That person's making money. On a daily basis. On a daily basis. That's right. Y'all thinking, oh, all black people are oppressed. No. There are black people in uniform. Yes, there are. Oh, but you're saying Black Lives Matter. I thought the terminology was African American. Oh. Oh. <laughs> African American. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold on. Let me get something out of my pocket for you. Show it to you. Because I know. I know you're not going to believe me. Steve. Hello. So, can I call you right back? Yeah. Just give me one moment and I'll call you right back. Okay. Okay, love you. Love you. Bye. Now that was my child. My child. In which, let's see, where is it, where is it, okay, look everybody, that's my black card, Oh snap,
How's that feel? Because I know all of you are going to come at me for some shit and say, Oh, no, you're not. Really? Yeah, I am. Yay. So anyway, you just stay happy, healthy, positive, and as always, stay blessed. Because you know what? It's your mindset of not being able to speak your own words either. Because a lot of you are saying copy, paste, copy, paste. Use your own mind and also learn how to think for your damn self. Have a nice day with that thought.